Hey, Jack. It's Marty here. And Daniel. You know, we've really missed you lately. I mean, you know, we've just, one of us has been gone at a given time. Yeah, we, we haven't, all three of us really haven't been able to, to connect, especially with you, man. I mean, I mean, Marty went to Spain and on this marine bio trip, and you went to Death Valley. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, Daniel, you know, he couldn't stop thinking about you while he was in Nam. I was in Nam? Yeah. Yeah, you were in Nam. I was, I wasn't I was in Nam. Nam. I was not in Nam. Marty, oh. I never went to Nam. Oh, he's completely blotted it out of his memory. He, Marty, I never It's I never just your way Nam. of coping, isn't it? You're just... No, I was never in Nam. Just trying to keep your mind off of Tommy. I don't know. I don't know anyone named Tommy. I don't know. Poor Tommy. I don't know anything about him. This goddamn Viet Cong blew his motherfucking face off. <laughs> Once again, the Sith rule the universe. Ha ha ha. Anyway, Jack, we were just thinking that we. Since we haven't been able to connect lately, Marty and I thought what we really should do is find a way to express ourselves. Just ten more minutes and I'll add crushed rosemary leaves. Anyway, we, we thought of a bunch of different ideas of how we could convey how we felt to you. And, you know, first we thought of Kabuki Theater. And we realized that was just fucking retarded. Then, we thought of uh, erecting a marble statue to you. And then we just kind of laughed at the word erecting and sort of forgot about it. And then we realized, you know, what method is more majestic than the ancient art of song? Anyway, we just thought we'd play this song for you. Yep, it's probably the best song ever written. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. I guess I thought you'd be here forever. Another illusion I chose to create. You don't know what you got until it's gone. And I found out a little too late. Someone
Well, Jack, that's pretty much it. That sums up just about all of our feelings about you. Really? Yeah. So you, you meant every word of that song? Yeah, I meant every word. Of course I did. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's kind of gay. <laughs> How is that a gay song? Well, it's not gay, but it's, it's, it's a love song. It's a love power ballad. No, it's not. That was a completely platonical song. I mean... Are you kidding me? No, it's like, I love you, man, but, but like, no, like but a we, friend. But, no. but we just... That, I'm addicted to you, baby? Yeah, you're not addicted to Jack? Well, I wouldn't say addicted. I mean... Well, how often do you call Jack? He never picks up. Well, how often do you call him? Uh, like, uh, how three often? times a day, but... But, but I, like, come on, this is another line that proves it's a love song. I, I was spreading my love too thin. Now, come on, that was pretty gay. You sang that. Okay, so, you know what, I'm not going to argue about this. This is a platonical, platonical love song. Very platonic. I'm not going to argue about it. We, we, we should have done Happy Birthday. Like I, like I thought. Hey, you know what? Just because you defended our country from the Viet Cong does not mean that you get to choose the birthday song for Jack. I mean, I mean, I miss Tommy too, but you know... What? Daniel? Shit. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jack. <coughs> Happy birthday to you.